Hello everyone, this is Jason Gay from Pataling Jaya, Malaysia. Today is the 7th of July 2021 and the reason I'm shooting this video is to give you a short tutorial on composing and arranging and producing on the computer using the software called Cakewalk Band Lab. Cakewalk Band Lab can be downloaded free from a website and for your information, Cakewalk Band Lab used to be called Cakewalk Sona. So Band Lab bought over and they are making it available free for people last time you used to have to purchase the sauna so those of you who would like to try composing and producing music on their computer you can check out the website you just google cakewalk band lab and you can download the software to your laptop or pc but you need a dedicated digital audio workstation and a keyboard so today i'm gonna take you inside my own song which i composed some years ago and this is a very simple song that Let's get to the software so I'm gonna take you through the last chorus until the end and I'm gonna let you listen part by part this song is very simple there's not many layers so as you can see there's the vocals which by the way this is my own song and the voice is sung by me and the piano I perform as well as the saxophone which I also perform so you see this voice is in a folder inside the folder I open up you will see the main vocal and then harmony 1, harmony 2 and harmony 3. So I pan the harmony 1 to the left and the harmony 2 to the right and the harmony 3 is at the center and the main vocal is at the center and the piano is at the center. Saxophone there is two layers and both are pan at the center. So it's also inside a group, a group which has two tracks, right? This is the first track and this is the second track of the saxophone which is the harmony. Okay, so now at the moment I'm going to close this folder and I'm going to let you listen to the melody of the song. So I open up this folder and I've already muted the vocal harmony. So again, this is the chorus until the ending. So let's listen to it. From person to presence Things arise, but you're not aroused. Everything is as it should be. Sit inside your own heart. Life takes care of life. Sit inside your own heart Life takes Care of life Okay, so that is the main vocal And as you can see, now I'm gonna play the harmony The harmony don't come in all the time It's only at these areas that it comes in So now I'm gonna mute the main vocal And I'll unmute the three harmonies So let's have a listen to it Okay, that's the harmony. And for your information, the harmony, I actually didn't sing it. I used the software called Melodyne. Melodyne is a software where you can pitch correct and also change the note. Once you have a main vocal, then you can shift the notes and add it to another track to create a harmony like this. So I sang the first track, the main vocals only. The harmonies are being shifted using the software. Alright, so now let's close this folder and mute the vocal and let's listen to the piano.
Okay, so the piano, I added this plug-in called Channel 2s. Channel 2s is like a stereo widening, which the name implies it widens the piano and gives it more depth. Okay, so now let's mute the piano and listen to the saxophone, which I played. The saxophone happens only at the second verse. So I'll start from the second verse. And okay, let's open up this folder, then you can see, yeah. This is the second verse and only happens a little bit at the end. So let's unmute the saxophone and mute the vocal and piano. Okay, so that is the saxophone part. Let's check the vocal. Oh, I didn't put any channel 2s here. These channel 2s I've also included in the saxophone. And what you listen to just now is just a dry sound. There's no reverb or delay or any kind of other plugins. So to see what plugins I use, I'm going to shift now to the console view, right? Just now here is the track view. You can see the tracks. So when mixing, normally you use the the console view so you can see there's the main vocal how many one how many two how many three piano second one and saxophone two and then here on the main bus you have the master sub master metronome voice bus delay reverb voice bus is a track which an effect which i put you see this by filter you make it very distorted so you put it very soft and it adds in together with your main vocal and but you put this track very soft so you will hear the clarity because of the distortion it's just a very slight you see the level is very low and glue glue is basically uh, the reverb to make everything sound together and we have the saxophone bass which I put two compressors on top of each other so now let's listen to the vocal I close this back close the group back again okay, let's unmute all and then listen from the saxophone saxophone till the end but without the effects first Things arise, but you're not aroused Everything is as it should be Seen inside your own heart Life takes care of life Okay, so that's the complete production. I make this very simple. I didn't add any drums or bass. It's just the piano vocal and the sax. So let's go back to the console view. Now it's where the magic happens. You see, when you add delay and reverb, it gives the recording depth. So it sounds very professional. So I unmute the delay, unmute the reverb, and I unmute the vocal bass, which I explained just now. And this is also another reverb, which is 
needs to glue the whole song together. Okay, so let's listen again from the saxophone part until the end. So this is the full production with the effects. Okay, here goes. So there's a big difference when it's dry and with the delay and reverb. So yesterday I also did one breakdown of another song of mine. If you miss it, you can watch it. I'll put a link in the description. That song is Yes to Now. That one has more parts. It has the bass and pads and drums and bells. But this is a very simple song and I want to keep it very simple and intimate. So if you would like to try it out, go to the website of the Cakewalk Pen Lab and download the software on your computer and get yourself a audio interface and a keyboard or guitar and set it up and you can also compose and produce and arrange your own music or if you want to do covers right it doesn't have to be many many layers you know a simple music is nice as well actually nowadays i like to do just the piano and vocals so if you enjoy this video do like share and subscribe to my youtube gay memories and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so when there's a new video you'll be notified immediately and if you have any questions regarding this tutorial do leave it in the comments i'm always very happy to receive comments and i will answer your questions and if you need help to get set up i will help you as well so don't forget to check out my earlier video yesterday and that's it for today i'll see you again on the next video so take care stay safe and god bless bye